So the first ingredient for this recipe is milk, and then I used one packet of pudding mix and vanilla flavor from Kroger, and that made two of these cups. We need yellow and red food dye. You also need either a whip, rotary beater, or electric mixer. Who are you gonna call? Two bowls to put the mixture in, and the size just really depends on how much pudding mix you are making. Who are you gonna call? Two clear cups of your choice. Candy corn. I'm afraid of no ghosts. And some whipped cream. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to pour two cups worth of cold milk into your bowl, and mine was just a liquid measuring bowl, so it had it marked on there, so I just poured it to the two cup line, and then I'm going to add the pudding mix into the milk. Okay, now we're gonna want to mix this together at a low or medium speed, and we're gonna do this for two minutes until it is all creamy and smooth. Now take your yellow dye and add two drops into the mixture and blend that together to give it a more vibrant yellow color that matches a candy corn. Once we've got our yellow pudding, it is now time to add half of that into a separate bowl. And the other bowl is going to be the orange part of this dessert. So what you're going to want to do is add actually a little bit more than half. I take that back. Add a little bit more than half because if you look at a candy corn, there's more orange than yellow. So now I'm gonna start the layering process by taking the yellow pudding and putting that in the bottom of the cups. Keep adding to the bottom of both cups until you run out of your yellow pudding. Now I'm going to put this into the fridge to let it chill. I'm afraid no ghost. Now we're going back to our yellow pudding mix that we set aside and we're gonna add some red food coloring so that it turns orange and I'm gonna keep adding the red until it gets to a really bright orange that kind of matches the candy corn. So now going back to my cups of pudding, I'm gonna fetch those out of my fridge and now I'm gonna start adding in the second layer which is the orange pudding mix. So I'm just gonna put that on top of the yellow and I'm gonna do more orange than yellow because I'm trying to replicate the appearance of a candy corn. And I'm just going to use all of my orange pudding mix and then put that in the fridge for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna take it out. And it is now time to add the last layer, which is the whipped cream. And you can put as little or as much whipped cream as you please. I know some people don't like whipped cream. And the finishing touch to this masterpiece is of course our actual candy corn candy that we plop on top of the whipped cream. I ate one cup and then I gave the other cup to my brother so you guys could make these for your friends, your family members, you can make them for a Halloween party that you might be going to. They're just really yummy and fun and festive for Halloween. So if any of you lovelies try this out, please send me pictures with the hashtag candy corn cups and I would just, I would, I would love it. So you guys can tweet me those pictures or you can Instagram me a picture of it. Um, I'm losing my voice. I apologize. Anyways, I love you guys very much. Happy Halloween, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. I hereby give you the other one. Thumbs up if you lick these. <laughs>